Good morning, everybody. It is Travel Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, July 26. It's Facebook Live, and um, my partner is not here in Western New York, and I'm kind of sad. Hi, Brian. I'm sailing the high seas here uh, with Royal Caribbean on Independence of the Seas. So um, it might look a little cloudy out here, but they say we're going to pass right through this system, and we have a beautiful day ahead of us in the Bahamas. How wonderful. So you you traveled down there and uh, how did everything go as far as traveling was concerned, the flights and uh, getting on board? Yeah, we got here well in advance. Of course, you don't want to try and fly in the day of a cruise leaving because you have risk, you know, missing that cruise. Um, we had no problems whatsoever. Smooth connection straight through. I enjoyed some time in Florida and now here in the Bahamas and uh, kicking back, relaxing. Of course, they're whining and dining everyone on the ship. How wonderful is that? So you heeded my advice every week. I talk about packing your patients and maybe going a day or two early. But uh, so which ship are you on, Elizabeth? So this is Independence of the Seas. And if you remember last summer when I was on Freedom of the Seas, um, it's more or less the sister ship. So I feel like I know my way around. So there was no trouble getting uh, used to everything and knowing where everything is. So right now, um, let me flip things around. I'm in the solarium area, which is, you know, the adult area where people can come and relax. The adult pool is here. There's uh, obviously some people cleaning up. It's, it's still a little quiet this morning. A lot of people still sleeping in before they head out to breakfast. Some people relaxing. And of course, uh, the hot tub is right here. And then you look out and, and you see like that, that storm system there that we're going to get through. And then right over here, I don't know if you can see out yonder, but Atlantis would look very familiar to you. <laughs> Absolutely. I can see that. Yeah, that's a great shot of Atlantis. And uh, you know what, Elizabeth, I have a, a feeling that that sun is going to come out after those clouds move and you're going to have a great day. I sure hope so. We are counting on it. I'm looking forward to going over to Atlantis and going to the beach and experiencing it all. And of course, the perfect day at Coco Cay will be tomorrow. So you know I'll be the first one off the ship for that so well. we can relax on the cruise ship's private island. Absolutely. When any when any cruise is talked about and Elizabeth's on it, uh, hopefully there's a stop at Perfect Day at Coco Cay, which is one of um, or the uh, private island for Royal Caribbean. And it is just a spectacular, you know, that there's so much to do there. So it's going to be a great time. Yeah, you get to really choose from chills or thrills, kick back and relax. They have a beach called Chill Beach, or, you know, you can go on the water slide and more if you want to be adventurous. So there's a little something for everyone. I do have to point out that this has been an interesting vacation because the kids are just, boom, gone. In the kids club, the teen club, hanging out. And my husband and I are like, wait a minute, is this a family vacation or is it like a getaway for us? And the kids are doing their own thing. But we all come together for dinner and meals. And so that's really nice. You know, how fun is that, that everyone can kind of do their own thing? And that's the great thing about a cruise. Everyone can kind of do their own thing, hook up during the day, maybe on and off for meals and, and have a great evening together as well. And that's what's really great about it. How's the capacity on the ship, Elizabeth? It's pretty busy. I think it's pretty full. Um, but, you know, once everybody it was a little crowded around the pool, I will say for the uh, sail away party yesterday, because, of course, that's where everyone wanted to be. And then, of course, everyone dispersed, went their separate ways. And the ship is so large that everyone's kind of spread out. Well, it, uh, I, I'm sure you're in store for a great week, which is terrific. Um, as you can see, I'm by my deck chairs here, actually, with a virtual background in my office. So, um, you know. If there was like a helipad or something, maybe you could join me because you would like the entertainment Thursday night. Guess what the show is? What's the show? It's going to take us back to the 1950s. That's your hint. Oh, uh, it's, gr it's Greece. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, how cool. Yeah. You know, you know, I got to tell you, Royal Caribbean is so noted for their entertainment. They go over the top with their entertainment regularly. So that'll be really terrific. Yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun to check that out. Good. Well, you know, um, I want to mention a couple things we got going on, if, uh, if I can indulge your patience here for a little bit. But I want to let of everybody course. know. Um, we have some Princess Alaska events coming up August uh, 9th, 10th. In 11th. And those are uh, presented by Princess Cruises talking about Alaska um, pretty much actually now for next summer. Now's the time to book for next summer. Um, they are going to be in our offices in person, uh, 1130 and 530 each of those days in Buffalo, Rochester and Syracuse. So people can go online and uh, uh, register at AAA.com slash events. We're really excited to start to get those in-person events uh, back again, and they're going to be in each of our offices in those regions. So Alaska is so popular this summer. I've talked to folks who have been up there and they said, 
it's great, but it's crowded. So, you know, everyone's trying to fit that Alaska vacation in that they haven't been able to for a couple of years. Sure. Yeah. And, you know, the same goes with a lot of destinations. I was surprised how many people were in the Orlando airport. It was full. So if you're flying to these popular destinations, give yourself plenty of time in the airports. I, there were so many people in Florida and my husband's like, it's July. It's this crowded. It's so hot. And I'm like, yeah, you got to go when you have the time off. And this is when the teachers are off and the kids are off. So, uh, you know, a lot of people are out and about traveling. So Alaska is on my bucket list. I thought we'd be there this summer, but we squeeze in the short cruise here instead. Well, <laughs> Next that's wonderful. Year, that, that's really exciting. And uh, um, one of the other things I wanted to mention is um, Celebrity Cruises has a set sail with incredible savings booking through the uh, 10th of August. 30% off every guest plus $150 uh, onboard credit per person. And you know as well as I do, Elizabeth, and tell our viewers that onboard credit goes a long way and it's a really nice perk to be able to use on the ship. Oh, yeah. I was thrilled to see since, you know, of course, I booked this with AAA. We had an onboard credit when we got on board. My daughter wanted to go get her hair done. I'm like, wait a minute. You didn't get your hair done on the cruise ship? <laughs> 15 <laughs> years old. She wants to get her hair done. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, but you know, you can, but yeah, the services are available if that's what you want. <laughs> ab absolutely. And so that can be, uh, you know, goes towards uh, uh, virtually anything on the ship, whether right. it's shopping, whether it's a shore excursion that you may want to take or uh, truly anything. But it is a nice value add which is great yeah it definitely is like we said it, there's so many different services you can get your hair done you they have teeth whitening they have uh, all different activities on board that you can spend that on <laughs> and of course you can pamper yourself in the spa as well right why yes, not yeah, i yeah. see a massage with your name on it your reservation how's that that that, that, <laughs> that would be my uh, that would be my ticket um two other quick promos i wanted to mention cie tours for ireland uh, through the 26th of August, we can book, and that's up to 15% off on all guided vacations, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, uh, great opportunity there. And we are seeing Europe peak. A lot of people are traveling to Europe to get that, you know, last minute summer vacation. And we've seen that with all the crowded airports. And I will say, uh, really, at those international airports, you really need to leave a lot of extra time, sometimes upwards of five and six hours to pass through and get through all the checkpoints. But, uh, you know, you, you, you really want to pay attention there. Yeah, yeah, good advice. We don't want to see people creating their own delays in the airport. You know, that you're waiting for the plane to be there on time and the crew, et cetera, but you don't want to be held up in uh, CSA lines or anything else and, and create your own delay. Absolutely. And then one last one I want to mention with our friends at Travel Impressions, seize your sunshine. It's up to 40% off, kids stay free, $200 resort credits, at many of their resorts throughout Mexico and the Caribbean, Hawaii, uh, they do all the warm water destinations you can book now uh, for traveling through the end of the year. And that's a great, great deal. So uh, uh, seize your sunshine, as they say. And I have a feeling that that sunshine is going to come out for you a little bit later, Elizabeth. Oh, I'm sure it will. You won't have any regrets if you seize that sunshine. I mean, what the heck? I don't care if it's a little cloudy today. Look at this. I'm on board. Another look at Independence of the Seas here. Uh, very relaxing. And just looking out at those open waters and, um, you know, getting closer and closer to, uh, obviously, NASA and there is Atlantis. And like we said, it is cloudy right now, but they said this is going to pass by the time we're boarded and we're getting off the ship and a beautiful day awaits. Well, that's terrific. And uh, I can't thank you enough for joining me today on the uh, on Facebook Live on your vacation. Uh, what, what, a, what a trooper you are, and we do appreciate that. But, you know, looking at those open waters and uh, uh, seeing uh, the, the ship that, the little bit of the ship that you showed us, so relaxing. And uh, what a great vacation. As you said, everyone can do their own thing, but be back together. Yeah. And did you see the bird just flew by? I did. <laughs> he's enjoying. <laughs> yep. He, he's, he's tailing the ship there a little bit. So. That's for sure. We had dolphins at the send off that were flying alongside the ship as we set sail. So um, just a great experience. And uh, look at this ocean, Brian, the world awaits. And, you know, you want to make sure you take advantage of those travel opportunities. Absolutely. All those memories and experiences with your family. Well, listen, Elizabeth, you enjoy. Enjoy that day in Nassau and especially tomorrow at Perfect Day. And uh, we uh, thank everyone for uh, tuning in and uh, you truly enjoy your vacation, Elizabeth. Thank you so much. And thanks for this early morning edition of Travel Tuesday. I hope everyone has a great day. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.